So now we already know the estimates that you need for either public or private education. How do you achieve those targets within your time frame? My name is Wangeshi Kihara, a private wealth advisor with Nabo Capital. So in this video, we are making the assumption that it takes four years after childbirth for your child to go to a school. So you will always be four years ahead. Let's make the assumption that you start investing 20,000 per month as soon as your baby is born. At an estimate rate of 10.45 per annum, year four, while they join school, you'll have approximately 1,167,681. In year 8, while they join grade 4, you'll have approximately 2,780,752 shillings. In year 10, with 20,000 per month, at 10.45% per annum, you will have 3,808,106. With the same assumptions, let's assume that you make 50,000 a month for the four years prior to your child joining school. So with 50,000 per month, at 10.45% per annum, an estimate of year four, you will have 2,909,202 Kenya shillings. In year eight, you will have 6,951,879. While making 50,000 per month, at an average rate of 10.45% per annum, you expect that your portfolio will be at least 9,545,265 in year 10. Let's make the assumption that you'll be contributing 10,000 per annum at the same rate of 10.45% per annum. You expect your portfolio to have grown to 583,840 in year 4, 1,909,000 and 53 shillings in year 10. With these calculations, it's clear to see the power of compounding interest. Regardless of whether you're contributing 10,000 a month, 50,000 a month, or 100,000 a month, we are able to achieve a target of that 2 million portfolio, 545, and allow your child to study stress-free. Speak to Nabo Capital today to allow us make calculation bespoke to your education plan for your children.